Hey guys, Plush here, and today we're back with some more Donkey Donkey Literature Club. Now, this is literally filmed the same day as I did episode 3. So, you know what? That's cool. I'm definitely in the mood for reading today again. Uh, <laughs> it's that it's filmed later though. I feel this is filmed like hours later after I did um, episode 3. And also, I read up a ton about this game. I re I did like tons of YouTube searches. I I I am just attracted to this game. This game is really cool. It has some really cool stuff in it, and just it's really really awesome. And um, I didn't spoil myself too much. Um, I don't really know what happens after this. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue our adventure. So let's go ahead and do. Sayori, of course, because you know how you know how I feel about Sayori, guys. Come on, you should all know at this point. <laughs> dot dot dot. This is your best one so far. It's really really nice, plush. Oh, thank you, Sayori. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yo, you stop it, you. <laughs> anyway, Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? E eh? O of course. Everything is fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot she was sad in the last episode. I actually forgot. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Plush, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Of course I do. Oh no, what the, what's, what's the music? What's... Who changed the music? Who... Why is it getting sad? I don't... I don't know about... I don't know how to feel about this. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to, to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write... Uh, when thinking about you. Sayori? No, no. Plush. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glanced around this room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Oh yeah, I did. I, I just did. Okay, I, I, I circled around the room. <laughs> I did one lap around the room and back in my seat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sayori! I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand why you, what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts a on a smile. It's nothing, Plush. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles for everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm going to go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. I also want to shoot that freaking rain cloud she was talking about. <laughs> Who freaking wants to freaking... Freaking... I don't know what to say. I. It was with the same thing last episode. You know how I was talking about how, like, I wanted to protect Sayori? I, I still don't know how to word it. Like, it's, it's so weird. I don't know how to understand it. It's so weird. I don't, it's strange. I don't get it. It's like, I don't freaking know. Anyways, let's just go on to Yuri. I really hope Sayori's okay. I want to freaking kill that rain cloud. I'm going to protect Sayori in any way I can, so <clears throat> that's what I'll do. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, decided to try something different today? I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences, but it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always that word with your writing and have that most advice to share. Is that so? Dot dot dot. Yuri thinks for a good minute. I don't know why I'm still putting on the voice when I'm talking. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just mean, I just meant that, uh, you know, I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri, wh what am I saying? I'm sorry I didn't mean to bring that up. 
Let's move on. All right. Do you want to show your poem now? Okay. Here. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Beach. Is it? Okay. Well, I'm not going to read all this, so if you guys want to read this, I'll just uh, slowly scroll down. If you can read cursive, that is. If you can read cursive, props to you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... It was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to be better compare the dif differences in our writing styles, or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in writing her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing! I'm starting to sound a lot like Monica, apparently. <laughs> like, the amount of times I heard Monica say, like, thanks for sharing, or thanks for the tip of the day, or whatever. It, it, mm. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyways, let's go with Monica next, because Monica is, is cool. You know, Monica is the one, the, you know, the responsible one. So let's go ahead and um, talk to her. Hi, Plush. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of other people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Dot dot dot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together. I see, I see. That reminds me. How about Sayori's been a little bit off today? Yeah, did she tell you something? Ah, uh, well... Plus, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Me? Flirting with I would do no such thing! Monica, I'm freaking sorry, but I would never do such a thing. How could you suggest something like that? Oh, no. Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. So you've always been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Dot, dot, dot. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Alright, let's see. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale that tells a tale... It's old tale tales of a lady who wanders Earth. The Lady Who Knows Everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that ever was sought. And here I am. A feather. Oh, there's still more. <laughs> uh, yeah, stuff. <clears throat> yep. That's a really nice poem, Monica. <laughs> You know, I feel like I, I feel like learning and looking for answers all are the sorts of things that give me that give life meaning. Not to get too uh, that word or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical because if we had all, pff, I can't, I can't. I, I was I was doing good, but then I just got worse. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to get something you put so much, in so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, is bad, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you, you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Monica, with the great, um, lessons. <laughs> Anyways, not to use the last one, uh, as always. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <coughs> This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. 
I see what you're getting going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, at least I'm trying. Why are you so emotional invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Uh, no, gross. <laughs> it's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. God, wait, was that? Was that did I say that? <laughs> Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you after all. I, I, I don't even know what that was. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, how the heck do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. Alright, let's see what's going on. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that uh, dimension your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sprinkle, sprinkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away. Full of sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream, daydream about each day. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. That's a really cool poem. Yeah, I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, your take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Gee, she better not have said anything bad, bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that, too. They us write about a simple topic than trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. There's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. I mean, yeah, this doesn't make sense. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something didn't sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Can catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Sigh, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. <laughs> Natsuki, please, show some decency. Yeah, see? So Yuri, Yuri agrees. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that I did, but I secretly did it in my head. <clears throat> oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Hey, that's offensive. I take very much offensive to that, Natsuki. Get the frick out of here. <laughs> First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Uh, oh? That curious expression coming from, from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Let's keep making cupcakes. Again! Freaking knew it! Every gosh dang time! But we need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Siri will be helping me design them. As for Yuri... Dot dot dot... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Question mark? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, no! That's not at all! You're the most talented person here, you know! Dot dot dot. N n now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Surya enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have be you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should come uh, make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. I don't know why, but something about her just saying that in the deep voice is really funny. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. 
That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, plush. Of course, it only leaves me. The only one is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'll be really appreciated of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you didn't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can, I can give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Gosh, freaking dang it, you're right. <laughs> Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Plus, you may not like to be around if you only can be out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make your few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Plush to... What are you saying? You'll be extremely... Something work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Plush to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah, plus you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? Frick it, I'm going Sayori. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I gotta go with my freaking girl Sayori. <laughs> okay, she's awesome. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No, sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just to get the club, okay? Um... Hmm... If it's not Sayori... Because Sayori was helping Monica, that's right, I forgot about that. Sayori was helping Monica. So... Hmm... This is hard. So, so if, 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 if I'm work, so if Monica's working with Sayori, that means I gotta choose Monica, of course! The smart choice, see? Smart questions come with smart answers, guys. That's not the expression, but... <laughs> well, I guess I, could sh I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second! Y yeah Monica, you're the one who needs to help least help out of all of us. Uh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not, not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Plush was the one who... Uh, it doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you should let any uh, uh, to move uh, to interfere with this decision. Uh, ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones who with, with alternative motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good as a, of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. Think of the children! <laughs> Okay, no. If we want our event to be su to be to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um. Uh. So are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay. Okay. I get it. Sigh. It's technically most logical for Plush to help one of you two. So I guess that's what we'll do. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Every gosh dang. Is it? Is is? Does this game want me to freaking help these two? You know, I probably shouldn't even say that, cause. It, it is it is true that I hang out with Sayori a lot, and it's also true that I've been hanging a lot with Monica, you know, it's just, just fun, or something. You know, Monica's writing tips are always useful. <clears throat> but if I had to choose, I'd have to say Yuri. Natsuki, I, I don't know, she just doesn't work for me, I just gotta go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be more useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you- Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying, uh... So you'll be helping Yuri then, Plush? <clears throat> uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Now, Ski, will, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little bit sour. Yeah. Yeah, no joke, I can sense it. 
So is that everything we need to go needs to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Plush? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it all turned out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Dot dot dot. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously yanks between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. Uh, I don't really know why, why, why Plush picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. You said cupcakes twice. <laughs> they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the men will ever compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um, well, I'm the o one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know. I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also take, taken aback by Yuri's words. When she said already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something that Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about- Oh, frick, I <laughs> accidentally clicked. No! Dang it, oh gosh. <laughs> That's stupid. No! I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but, I, but I'm going to say this. Dot 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 question mark? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do, do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Atsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that it slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Uh, I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, 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 not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'll uh, prefer going to your house. Alright, in that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it would, should make much sense either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Wow, that sounded really mean, Plush. <laughs> I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not really nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Plush. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you choose me because you felt something bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Dot dot dot. I dot 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 don't know. <laughs> it's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to put out, point out why you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you what I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? That didn't make any sense. I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. We're finally outside! Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would've preferred to do this with Sayori? My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I could have gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows who might, what, what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Siri finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Exactly. Just have a good time. That's what it's about. It's already s how the frick did we just ch time jump? What the frick? I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help very much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an Im intimid person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting uh, occasionally. She was at she extremely impressed Sniff at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. <clears throat> See, the reason why I went with that voice is because I just did it. <laughs> but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. 
Between that, between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Hello? She needs you! Cause, cause if, if, if... Listen, 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 I gotta tell you something right now. If, if you don't hear back from somebody after you initially meet them, there's a problem right there, okay? You want to stop, reflect about it, and then you want to take action, okay? You probably want to check on that person, because that person is probably not okay, and you got to check on them, okay? Which is probably what we're doing. <laughs> I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. See? Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I read, uh, reached Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Actually, the house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, plush. Oh, there she is. I Okay, I thought she was not in the house for a minute. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. Hold on, let me just examine this room real quick. Okay, we've got some books and uh, a mug. Okay, that's, that's normal. Um... We got, I think that's a calendar. That's pretty nice. Um, we got a, like a plant and a, a, a giant stuffed animal cow. Whoa, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. I gotta admit. Was it been? Uh, I already read that. I already read that. <clears throat> you haven't come over like this in a long time, haven't you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is a, is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it would be it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be seeing Yuri today? Yeah, but wait. How did you know that? So you already had left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? That's true. That's very true. But uh, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then, huh? Yep, there's more silence between us. Siri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Plush. Eh? Huh? What can it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and actually express my feelings... If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have ever been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori, listen, 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 listen. Who, 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 who did this to you? Can, can I have their name? Can, who did this to you? I'm gonna... <clears throat> Definitely not gonna shoot them in the face tonight. Definitely not. I would never do that. We're just gonna have a nice, friendly conversation. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, plush. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, plush? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh my gosh, this game. This game. <coughs> Why? Is, 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 is this just a common theme? Am I always getting freaking beaten to death in these games? Gosh, dang it. <coughs> Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that, that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Do you really want me to so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend! All you had to do was tell me. 
You don't, you don't understand at all, Plush. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a big a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. Oh my god. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. <clears throat> no plush. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have help is, is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears struck down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished for my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. Listen. You don't deserve the punishments, Sayori. No punishments are happening. You're, 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 you're gonna be fine. Every, you, I don't know what to say in this situation. This is a very serious topic too. Because I know a lot of people struggle with this. So, <clears throat> I'll, I'll try not to make as many jokes because this is very serious. I know a lot of people struggle with this. I, I'm sorry to those people who struggle with this in real life. I, I, I just feel so sorry for you guys. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Are we gonna get a cut? Are we gonna get a transition? Ah, uh, plush. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that, happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Plush! Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't do this! Plush! I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Yeah, seriously, like, like, I agree with whatever this dude's saying. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Plush. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. How is that scary? Siri lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, it's it, <coughs> Listen, I wouldn't, no. That'd be, that'd, be, that'd be nice. I think that's a really good idea. I think that would be nice then. See? Yeah. Siri so wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did, then that w I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Siri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good idea for me. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Why? Why, why didn't she bring her? I know she said she didn't want to, but come on, dude. <clears throat> come on. This is, this is, dude, this is giving, this is, get, this is literally giving me emotional. This is getting me emotional. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my freaking god. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Alright then, I guess. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a little bit more, more moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Oh, gosh. If this is going to be a whole thing with Yuri... Oh, gosh. This voice is going to wear me out. So, you know what? 
I'm not going to do the deep voice this time around. I'm just going to do my normal voice. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Because this would actually kill me. <laughs> but I started to get uh, really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have re reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And I did... Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything is right. I'm sure it will be fine. I almost did the deep voice. <laughs> I almost forgot. Well, let's check out this room real quick. Oh, that! We got like a little gaming. Well, it's not really a gaming PC. It's just a you know, normal PC. We got a TV. We got a bunch of books. We, I, apparently, we do a lot of reading. I take her to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which is in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh-uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. Um, but, but um, was, is, 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 is that just, like, rude, or are you hiding something? Plush? Not my, not me, but the, the game plush. <laughs> what are you hiding? I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, uh, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Dang it. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, atmospherical candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help out take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm, de I'm determined to provide an, an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, 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 not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? It makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, I don't, no need to be so anxious. You gonna relax a little? Relax. I brought some things for re relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. <clears throat> I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's, it's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with, uh, arom aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite uh, contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection, it's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spot through a small hole on the top. Oh yeah, I've, I, oh, yeah, I've seen those before. <clears throat> my, um, uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've definitely seen those before. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. <coughs> I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel feel them flow through your body. Does it actually? I gotta look that up. If I remember to. <laughs> I gotta look that up to see if it actually does that. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami, pa origam origami paper I asked you to get? Why am I struggling with the word origami? It's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about 100 of them. Oh, yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract people to some to peek inside. That's truly really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? 
Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from, from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's the marker, Plush. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, alright then. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a, a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Gosh, the bad handwriting, it's its its, it's gotten out of hand, guys. I, I, see? See? Yeah, out of hand? Did, 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 did you get the joke? <coughs> Alright. <laughs> Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her, hand, her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Uh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an... Uh, that word pattern of waves etched into it. The blood itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed. Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright, the thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Whoa, they're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to get in be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. Can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once more. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. OW! <laughs> why the frick would you do that? Plush! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no, a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah uh ah! -uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and looks at the wound. What the frick? What? <coughs> what? Ow. Ow. <laughs> wow, I just. I feel like the world was punishing me, so the freaking. kick the foot of the chair. Hurt me. It hurt. <laughs> I, I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Whoa. Startled, I, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh oh. P please forgive me. I, I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um. Sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright. You know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger and turn- What? What? <laughs> I don't know what to say about this point. Plush! D did you really just do that? Then now we're even. Dot to dot? <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh-uh. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Flush. Hey, don't you freaking call me weird. I've done no such thing that is weird in the past five years I've been on this channel, okay? Nothing. Yuri giggles shyly. Uh, Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Um, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Me and Roll continue to make progress on the, on the paper. That's really stupid paper. <laughs> After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the print tape, the print tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water? I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water, okay? If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. You got it, Yuri. I got, I got you. I'll go get the cups. 
Taking your advice, I decided to use a small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I'll put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back to, into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly and I'll roll her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is just a little red. Is it hot? too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the ta tablets and dropping them into the cups. Alright then, <coughs> guess we're just going right into that. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I I'd like to put a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Huh, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. You say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. <laughs> so does- so- definitely. Definitely reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class project we've had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me thinks, makes me things feel a little bit nicer. <coughs> Gosh, my voice is already dying if you couldn't, if you couldn't, um, pinpoint it out. Yep. <coughs> My voice is getting a lot higher. I don't know what's going on. Send help. <laughs> I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. <coughs> so you can already tell. <coughs> I'm voice cracking. Hold on a second. <coughs> okay, I'm better now. <laughs> is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel the way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I can feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused, unused paintbrush. <clears throat> but I move at the same time, causing my hand to bump into hers. Kya! So sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a teller right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Okay, we're wiping the paint off her face. Okay. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Ah. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer? It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She, lo she looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through silent parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist to send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. And then the day is over! <laughs> Gosh, I wish. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That sounds totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you seem like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. 
Ah, so you don't have anything- so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well, dot dot dot. Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would, it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the more important thing is, we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to be a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this is the last time it can happen. Yeah, foreshadowing, I guess, if that if it does happen later on. When Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for helping me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need to bring me just need to bring need me to bring tomorrow. Gosh dang. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I couldn't have said that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have much as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over and we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you <laughs> like I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, plush. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Ow! <laughs> I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori? Eh? Uh, Sayori, what the frick are you doing here? How did, how, did you just on command? You're just like, guess you should walk outside, and then you should see me and Yuri just doing something. Man. I'm just going to continue the game. <laughs> Hi, Plush. S Sayori, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Plush. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh um, well, it's nice to meet, see you. I thought it was nice to meet you. No, I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Ah, uh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll, we'll be, be out together at the festival tomorrow, so. So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Y yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh -huh. Well, I tried sitting in my room, but my imagination was really being mean to me, so I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. Makes you really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Sayori starts to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Plush? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, listen, don't say that. It's true, Plush. If it wasn't, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Dot, dot, dot. Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it to count out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for any anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be your by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But but, Sayuri so looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Plush. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I do this to myself. Plush, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how, that's how I feel. Wait, what? I, I wasn't aware of this. And that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her, her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give it to you. G give you some. Sayori. Oh... Oh, <clears throat> oh no, why is the game making me do this? The game is like manipulating me. I don't get it. Oh no, it's either I love you or you'll always be my dearest friend. <clears throat> mm. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> my gut instinct is telling me to say I love you, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um... I don't want to end the episode here, because obviously it'd be a cliffhanger ending. And you guys are obviously going to see what I choose in the next episode. But on the other hand, that would be a good way to get more views. <laughs> okay, no, we're going to continue this. <clears throat> Not in the next episode, but right now. We're going to say, listen, 
I love you. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. All right, gut instinct is telling me to say I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you can make me m like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Plus, oh man, this is really sad actually. I should have blue hair though. That's the only complaint about this scene. But you know what? It's it's a serious scene. Plus, freaking shut up and get to the game. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms around tightly around me. Plus, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. <clears throat> You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Plush. I want to be with you forever. Okay, this is this is this is like fan fiction. Just want to get this out of the way. This feels like fan fiction. But you know what? I'm okay with this. <laughs> me too. Dot dot dot. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Plush. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay, I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes, me, that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really nice and new and scary to me. I thought I said nice. <coughs> I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Plush. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means, means by that. Are you saying this is, the make, this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. That's why I, why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can't comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Let's go. We saved the situation, guys. <clears throat> it's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her, her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry. I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a, pl a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be o over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <clears throat> Let's go to school! <laughs> Plush, you're really the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I might that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that, that on, this, on days like this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me last, yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? <laughs> she'd take a little, a little responsibility for her plush. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Uh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt chilled on my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out on the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I got one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is nearly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Nevsky's and Yuri's poem from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. 
It's one that I haven't read before. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, out of my head. And just a lot to get out of my head. What? What the f This is actually- What? Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I know what I know what is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem was never actually finished. It just stops moving. Huh? Ah. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Plush? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that... I changed my mind. I'm gonna get Sayori, so... Ah, wait. Well, alright. Well, try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quickened my pace. Oh, no. What What is Sayori doing? <clears throat> what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal. At least I'll wait for her, or help her, her wake up. Even the simple gesture of waking her up to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. Alright, I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Alright, we're going inside the house. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't that kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say- What? What? What the frick is this? What? That genuinely scared me! That, that was a jump scare! What? Oh, Sayori, no! No! What? No, she, no! Dot, dot, dot. What the heck? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up to a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my, what, what my eyes are showing me. What? what? No! Sayori, no! Why? I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be the be there for her. I told her that I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for the others to care about her. The one I did confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't just some game where I can reset and try something different. Wait, can I try something different? Can I save and try something different? I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worthwhile more worth more than hers. I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Just never all over and over again? And what? The game ends there! Are you freaking kidding me? What? Bro, are you freaking kidding me? What? Oh, whoa. Um. Hi. What? what Sayori is just glitched now? Bro, you can't be serious. Is this a horror game? Is this a glitchy game? Oh my freaking god. Oh my gosh. Every time. Every gosh dang time I think I'm playing a fun game. It just turns a whole 180. Oh my freaking gosh. Are you serious? Sayori's dead? No. My favorite character is dead. Yeah, I freaking hate this game. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh my gosh. Well, um, yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Um, well, let's just try the glitched option. Uh, <clears throat> it's just uh, what the frick? Oh, and the music is even different. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any tension she might draw to herself. That girl is glitching code. 
My neighbor and good friend since we were children. Wait, what the frick? Uh, <clears throat> you know the kind of friend that you never. This is like this is just the beginning of the game. We used to watch school and together like days. Uh, okay. But if you're going to uh, running away, how are you that? I'm looking for the class walk. I'm like glitch Claude caught up to me. Whoa! 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 What the frick is happening? What is this? What? Um. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Yeah. Definitely ordinary! So now, look, I saw a glitched Yuri and Monica in my, on my screen. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's gonna have to do it for today, guys. I don't think I can stick around for any more of this. Well, wait, we're gonna have to continue it because it's a series, but oh my gosh, I still hate that my girl Sayori is dead. Oh my god, she was the one thing that made this game happy for me, and now that she's dead, I'm gonna regret playing the rest of this game. It just, ugh, I freaking hate it. Oh my gosh. Well, yep, yeah, that's it. I'm done. All right, for today, guys, I'm, I'm done. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more from this channel, hit the bell. Tell me if you hated that Sayori died too. You know, that'd be nice if you if you agree with me in the comment section. That'd be really nice. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.